things start to change for her? In Juneau. Tell us about the time in Juneau. Um, she was actually at Sacred Heart, and um, they were kind of at a standstill. They had a meeting with me and said that they could no longer do anything with her because they felt she was not improving fast enough to stay at their facility. She was, at this time, she was officially out of a coma? Um, I would say she was at the end stages of the coma. So if you were going to use the um, Rancho Los Amigos scale, she would be at one of the higher levels? Mm -hmm. um, she was at the combative stage. Um, she was aware of what was going on. She just couldn't speak, um, couldn't take care of herself. She was co very combative. Did they want her to go to Juno because it was a locked facility? No, it was, they had, it was actually a locked facility that she was on, right. um, but they weren't, she was not progressing fast enough for them, her speech, her occupational, her physical therapy. Um, they, she was just not progressing fast enough for them to keep her have, there. Did you have medical insurance at the time? Yes. Was your insurance company putting pressure on them? No. So your insurance company never really got in the way? No. In treatment mm -mm. that first year? No. Nope. So she's at the end stages of coma when she goes to Juneau. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? Um, we still continued to go there every weekend and still worked with her. Um, the people there were wonderful. Um, they worked hard with her. I had only been at a few of the sessions in Milwaukee, um, and I, I was not really, I guess nothing is fast enough for you then. You just want everything to be better. Um, I didn't care for them that, at that facility. Um, I didn't know what kind of care to expect, but I just knew I didn't care for it. Um, in Juneau, they were, they were wonderful people. They worked with her. They were hardworking. Um, it was nonstop. They seemed very caring. Did she worked with a number of different therapists? Mm -hmm. um, did she work with a neuropsychologist? Um, I I believe she did. Um, speech pathologist, mm -hmm. physical therapist, mm -hmm. occupational therapist, mm -hmm. some vocational rehab. Yep. Did you work with her in those? Um, every weekend when we went there, um, it was like she worked hard with them all weekend and we drilled around the week, or during the week we drilled around the weekend. What was, what was the progress like? Um, 